I have been on many excursions during my travels, and I have to say, during our most recent visit to Punta Cana, the excursion that we took with Española Aquatic Adventures has been one of my favorites. We found the excursion on Viator.com, which if you follow us, you know that we are now partners with them, but I've been using Viator for years to book all of our excursions. This one was an adult-only snorkeling and party boat, and I chose it because it had five stars in Viator, and it also received the winner of 2023 on Viator, and it was only half day, which is perfect since we were only traveling for three days and trace noches. And if you are new to our channel, three days, and Trace Noches, we bring you honest reviews, travel tips and information about the destinations that we go to and show you you can have an amazing vacation in a really short amount of time. So it would mean the world to us if you support our channel by hitting that subscribe button. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what to expect on this excursion from start to finish. And I will also put the link to book it in the description. Transportation is included from your resort to the port. It is shared transportation, which means you're going to be picking up other people along the way at different resorts. So it can add a little bit of time onto the day. Another option would be to just pay for your own transportation and go directly to the port. And sometimes I will choose this option. I personally would rather pay a little bit more to have private transportation rather than sitting in a van, picking up other passengers, which can take 30 minutes to an extra hour. They communicate via WhatsApp and tell you what time that they're going to pick you up. And the entire ride from the Uvera Alta region took about just under an hour. When you arrive, the port is pretty busy. A lot of different excursion companies run trips from here. So the first thing you're gonna do is check in with your company and your leader. They guide you to where that is. Ours was Silverado, who was amazing from start to finish. He checks everyone in and also takes your order for lunch. You can either opt to wait in the check-in area or go wait by the beach, which is what I wanted to do. Now on your way walking to the beach, it's a short walk, but there's a lot of different shops. So the shop owners are going to come out and try to get you to go into their shop and buy things. It's very typical for an excursion port, so a simple no gracias takes care of it. But in the case that you did forget something, they have everything that you might need. So sunscreen, towels, hats, sunglasses, bags, you can purchase them right there. We got some waters and some beers and just waited by the ocean. It didn't take too long, I wanna say maybe 10 or 15 minutes before the whole group was ready to board for the trip to begin. Hola amigos, todo bien, buenos días, buenos días. Now this first boat is just a transport boat. It's gonna take you over to the bigger boat where you're gonna spend the day on for the excursion. We were on the morning excursion, so it starts around nine o'clock, so it is a little bit early. I think by the time you were on the boat, it was closer to 9.30, but nonetheless, they still have the music going, they have an open bar, and the entire trip is about four hours long. So this excursion makes two snorkeling stops. The first one is in deeper water. The second one is in shallow water where you can stand. So if you're someone who isn't a great swimmer, they have options for both. Now, I'm a pretty good swimmer, but I did opt for the life vest this time, just so I could spend as much time out there as I wanted to and not have to worry about getting tired. In the first stop, they give you food that you can actually feed the fish. And another thing I loved about this excursion is that they're constantly taking pictures, but they are completely accessible to you for free that they put on Facebook. And they have an underwater camera as well, so they took some really cool shots. And it was some of the best snorkeling that I've ever seen. Then after the deep water snorkeling, you go to a beautiful shallow spot where you can snorkel again, swim. They even have a boat with a bar and music, so it's a lot of fun and a perfect opportunity for anyone who's not comfortable swimming in that deeper water to go to the shallow spot where you can stand. And after this, they make another stop where they anchor the boat and everyone wades to this uninhabited part of the shore. So definitely plan on getting wet in this trip unless you wanna stay on the boat. And here you get to watch Jose use his machete and cut open the top of the coconuts and then they fill it with ice and rum if you want, or you can just drink it without the rum.
and you do get a little time to enjoy the island and those rum-filled coconuts before heading back. Like, Monday morning, here in Pupacana. For Tuesday, it's Tuesday, I don't even know what day it is. I've lost track of my days. And just when you think this excursion could not get any better, well, now it's time to eat lunch. And this was unlike any lunch I had ever had on another excursion. An entire separate boat pulls up next to ours and it's a kitchen boat where they are preparing the lunch made to order and fresh. And the food was amazing. You had a choice between three dishes. You could do meats, seafood or vegetable between the four of us we got all three and it was really good and i have to say captain pina and his staff were impressive the entire flow was seamless from stop to stop to stop you can tell that they work together and that the focus really is making sure that you have an amazing time and we are not sponsored by this company we paid full price to go on this excursion so these really are our honest thoughts but the trip isn't over yet we're going to start heading back to the port and that's when they turn it up a notch the rum starting to kick in a little bit people start dancing the bar still open and more fun to be had And then once you get back to the port, the transportation is there waiting to bring you back to the resort. I hope you found the review of this excursion helpful. It really was one of my favorite excursions that I've ever been on. If you do have any more questions, just drop them in the comment section below. I do respond to all comments and questions and keep following us at Three Days and Tres Noches, where we bring you honest reviews, travel tips and information about the destinations that we go to and show you you can have an amazing vacation in a really short amount of time.